For those of you who don't know, my name is Rayman11, and um, th today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on Minecraft Skin Viewer. It's a program that allows you to gr create 3D images, um, and uh, you can use these for pictures and uh, other things. And uh, you can save it as a PNG image and open it in Photoshop. And I usually don't do these tutorials things, but uh, this is something that you saw in my last video uh, as a uh, I um, what's the word I'm looking for. Uh, it'll, um, a little, little, little tab thing, a little tab thing. I forget. It's 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 not coming to me. I'm not having a bad day today. Anyway, um, so I don't really do these that much, but I need to show you this because this looks pretty sweet. So with this, um, this is what it is right here, and this is um, there's different toolbars. So if you right click, um, I uh, if you show, uh, it's right toolbars. There's all these toolbars, and I'll bring them all up just to show you. Uh, toolbars and backgrounds. So these are this is basically everything that you get. Um, and with this, uh, you can type in a name right here, and this is my name. Uh, and then I'll show up the skin. Skin. So we can put in Twixmo, and get in Twix's skin, and we can change the background here for the image. Uh, but for those of you who usually edit this in Photoshop or in any other thing, I choose this. This is the transparent one, and this allows you to just absolutely take just the guy. Uh, and you can move them around. So with this, there's comes from uh, these default images right here. This is zombie. And you can turn them. Let's just turn this out. Zombie. We got sitting. We got running. We got walking, and we got outstretched. And I think that yeah, outstretched. And uh, outstretched is basically. And then we got like staying still. Outstretched staying. Still. We got jump jacks. Jump jacks. Um, and then down here, uh, this is the animation. And this is just walking. And then uh, I guess if you change it to four, he's technically running. And uh, it doesn't matter what I click on, it still is going to play the same animation over and over and over. And then you can also upload skins to it, but I don't really have a skin, I just usually type in the name. And um, so you can um, just uh, do browse and type and then find your skin and upload it and you'll be good. So it is tedious though, um, we can freeze them in one spot too. It is tedious though controlling them. Like I try to make my guy punch and he only moves in certain directions. Like I want to eat, wait let's put him in zombie mode. And then uh, it it is sort of tedious moving them back and forth. As you can see, my mouse, I'm trying to get like him at a certain angle. Oh, we can make him fall. That'd be cool. Uh, and like sometimes it like sort of screws up, but uh, it's it is pretty cool. And I'll show you. Open it in Photoshop. No, Twitch more way. All right. So let's get into it. So this is the program, and you can browse. And uh, if you right click, and then you can do save image as or save skin as. And uh, that will save it as a PNG to your desktop or wherever you want it. And I think you can do perspective. Well, that's weird. Uh, but anyway, I like perspective better. And uh, so then you have all these and just right click. So there's the program. And uh, when you download it, you get this little skin viewer right here. Um, and uh, it's just an EXE that you download. The link will be in the description. And it comes up to this download right here. And you just download it. And uh, it'll come down here as an EXE. Just uh, run the XC. I'm gonna try to run it for you guys because I, I run, and uh, I don't know if it will download or what. Yeah, it just opens the exact thing onto it. Um, it but it just opens up. And I first when I had it, I got a DL error, um, a .NET framework error. And uh, all I had to do was look up the exact framework. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me, and I will figure out what they are. And it gave me a new icon. I was wondering what that was. Uh, and I will uh, ask you, and I will answer all of them. So it really just gives you this exe. You just uh, run the exe, and then it, um, and then it works. So if you like this tutorial, if this is something that you've uh, come across and you'd like to uh, toy around with, um, and put in your screenshots, capture cards, whatever, you're, and put it as your background or something, uh, leave a like. And then uh, if there's any questions that you have regarding this download or anything about this program, please leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.